So with number 13, it asks us to list and describe the three types of collisions that occur at a convergent boundary, all right? So we have three types of convergent boundaries. Keep in mind, convergent boundaries, they come towards each other. So the first type of convergent boundary that I listed is continental continents, all right? And so it is when you have two continental plates colliding with each other to form mountains. This is the first type of convergent boundary. The second type of convergent boundary is oceanic oceanic. And so what happens here, you have two plates that will collide and form a subduction zone. And then our third type of convergent boundary is going to be the oceanic to continental. And subduction occurs here, trenches occur here, and volcanoes are formed. And so what happens with a subduction zone, the oceanic crest is going to go up under the continental crest, and it's going to go up under the continental crest because it is um, more dense. Talking about number 14, while you guys are still typing, um, what type of conversion boundary collision forms mountains? It's going to be continental, continental. Um, with number 15, it says which type of crust is the subducting tab slab? I'm sorry. So basically, they want to know which plate is the one that is sinking in, or which plate is the one that's going under in the um, oceanic and continental collision. And the one that is sinking are going up under during the continental collision. I mean, the continental oceanic collision is going to be oceanic. And we do not have an answer to number 16 because you would not see number 16 on your test. So I will give you guys a moment to write that down before I move up. Or can I... Can I move up to uh two online? Yeah. Students? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm gonna move up to two at least, so you guys can keep typing as needed. Oh, it is two. Okay, so um, you guys can't quite see what a, a trench is. So can I move to three? Can I move to three, you guys? Yes, no. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right. So a trench is basically a deep depression in the ocean floor. Um, this occurs when two oceanic um plate are two oceanic plates or two pieces of oceanic crust when they collide. And so question number 18 says, which type of convergent boundary collision forms trenches? And it is going to be oceanic to oceanic. Again, you're having two pieces of oceanic crust colliding with each other. Colliding means they're coming towards one another. Can I go up uh, to 17? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. I'm still writing. Okay, what do you want, Layla? I'm on number three still. Number number which one? Three oceanic con Okay, I, I'll move up just a little bit. Oh, you said you're on that one. Okay. 
We'll wait. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay. All right. And so number 19, it says describe what occurs at a transform boundary. So basically what happens at a transform boundary, you have two plates sliding past each other um, horizontally. Ms. Um, Wallet, just let me know when you uh, get to number 17 so I can pull it all the way up. Okay, I'm on number 17 now. Okay. So I'm going to um, move this down for you guys. All right. So um, I've already talked about 17, 18, and 19. So now we get into number 20, which talks about the continental drift hypothesis. And so what I put for that is... You're muted. I know. Okay, Miss Wiley, can I go up some more? Yes, ma'am. I'm at number 19. Okay, so I'm going down um, so you guys can see some more. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, Miss Wiley. All right, um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to talk about this. So, again, continental drift um, hypothesis said that basically the continents were once together, but then they started slowly started to drift apart. 
right? And so the person who developed this hypothesis was Alfred Wagner. Um, it goes on to ask, hey, what is Pangea? Pangea is basically a supercontinent. And with that supercontinent, it's saying that all those continents were all once together to form one big landmass. Ms. Wiley, can I go to 20? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so um, 23X, how many years ago did Pangea exist? It existed 250 million years ago, all right? And so Alpha Wagner, he actually had a hard time because many of his science colleagues they didn't believe in what he had said. And so because they did not believe in what he had said, he had to prove it. And so there were three pieces of evidence that we talked about that he used. One being the shapes match. And so with that, with them talking about the shape match, basically they were saying the continents were able to be put together like puzzle pieces. That is the evidence of the shapes matched. Okay. Again, the shapes match. It's just further um, showing, hey, we can put these pieces together. And that's what we did in our lab. And so that's one piece of evidence. The second piece of evidence is that the plants and animal fossils were found on all the different continents. And so an example that I was given was the tropical plants. It's, it was, it's not, it was evidence because you have the tropical planet. When I think about a tropical planet, I think about a tropical destination. So I'm thinking about sunny, warm weather. But then you have fossils of that particular plant on Antarctica. That's not going to be possible if or it wouldn't be possible if the continents were not all once joined together. Because we know Antarctica weather is um, cold. All right. Antarctica weather is cold and it would not have been possible if um you know the continents were not all together miss wally how how far can i move up um 21. okay and then the third um piece of evidence was the rock similarities okay so there are mountains that were found in north america like where we live and it was mountains um are rock types found in europe so because you have similar rock types in north america and europe that was another piece of evidence that was saying hey um these continents were all once together Ms. Wilder, let me know when I can go up, okay? You can go up to 24. Okay. All right. Um, theory, what is a theory of plate tectonics? The, the, the theory of plate tectonics is basically the tectonic plates are moving at a very, very slow pace. They are moving right now, and they are moving at a slow pace.
Let me know when I can move up some old Miss um Wally. Ms. Wiley, can I go up? Yes, you can go up to number three. All right, thank you. I'm gonna make it smaller so I can still she can still copy, but um we can start talking about the other parts. So the other parts are matching, and so you basically it says match the plate tectonics with its associated plate boundary. So basically, these particular plates um or these particular boundaries create different things. So um can I go down, Miss Wiley? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so we should be able to see. All right, so you have volcanoes are an example of converging boundaries. Mountain ranges are an example of converging boundaries. Earthquakes is a example of um, transform boundary. Faults are an example of transform boundaries. Um, trenches are an example of converging boundaries and um, Rift Valley is an example of a divergent um, boundary. And I'm going to go up some. Can I go up to 26? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, so here we go. We have 27 says, which land features or activities can you expect near or at a divergent boundary? You can expect a mid-ocean ridge or a rift valley. Number 28 says, what land, I mean, I'm sorry, what land features or activities can you expect or, um, near or at conversion boundaries. You can expect subduction. You can expect volcanoes. You can expect trenches. These are things that you can all expect if you are near or at a convergent boundary. Um, 29, what land features or activities can you expect near or at a transform boundary? You can expect earthquakes and you can not expect vaults. That is what you can expect. You can go down to 27. Okay. Okay. You said go down to the seven. All right. And so let me make sure what I want to put. All right, here we go. This is what I wanted to write. All right, so describe C plus planet and how does it occur? This is what I wanted to um, write down for you guys. So C4 spreading, I'm typing this down. This was the only one I didn't get a chance. Um, floor spreading is the movement of two. Oceanic 
plates moving away from each other, which results in the formation of new crust along the All right, and so that is it. And so I am going to save this guy for you guys, and I am going to um, upload it, okay? So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to upload it um, to the videos. I am also going to 